Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. I'm filming this on the first day of June, 2022. The Minnesota planting season is now in full swing. As you may know if you follow this channel, I had surgery about a month ago. According to my surgeon, my recovery is going really great, but I'm having to take things a little more slowly this season as my body heals. I have managed to get the in-ground beds planted, and now I need to concentrate on potting. I'm taking a break to give you a quick recap of recent pepper-related activities. Let's get started. Before I could kick off this year's growing season, I had to get that pesky surgery out of the way. Here I am arriving at the hospital the morning of the procedure and in my room the following day, a few hours before my release. A week later, I was already doing a lot better and getting excited about getting out in the garden again. By mid-May, I was outside on the deck selecting which plants I would take to our neighborhood plant sale on May the 21st. Here are the sale plants hardening off a few days later. This was my fifth year selling plants at this annual event hosted by Susan Kennedy, our neighbor and esteemed gardening guru. This sale is for all types of annual and perennial plants, not just hot peppers. It's a long established neighborhood tradition. Finally, the big day arrived. It was bright, but a little chilly as our next door neighbor Bill helped us set up. We were the first to arrive, so we were able to snag our favorite spot to set up our tables. Just before it was time for the sale to start, we tagged the plants, then wheeled them down to the sale. This was my first post-surgery event, so I was pretty excited to be out in public. There was already quite a crowd when the sale started at 9 a.m. I got to chat with so many people, new friends, old friends, neighbors, and fans, some who traveled from out of town just to visit the sale. Thanks to everyone who stopped by the sale, and I wish I had time to give a shout out to each and every one of you. I do want to mention Alex Anderson from Exotic Hot Peppers, who drove down from Rush City, Minnesota to snag some of my plants and also gift me with some of his great looking plants. In the past, Alex has sent me both seeds and tasty pods, and it was nice to finally meet him in person. Like last year, two other growers brought great looking hot pepper plants for sale. Brad and Kenny from Frostbite Pepper Products, and Griff and Isabel from Twin Cities Peppers. Both had amazing looking plants that made me a little jealous. By late morning, I had sold all my plants and quite a few of the last remaining bottles of Calculated Risk Hot Sauce, our collaboration with Lost Capital Foods. I was happy but tired, and it was time to pack up and head home for lunch and a nap. But first, we assembled the crew of pepper plant purveyors for a quick photo op. From left to right, here's Brad, moi, Kenny, and Griff. Thanks everyone for another great sale. If you'd like to see more scenes from the plant sale, accompanied by an updated remix of the plant sale song I wrote and recorded a couple years back, it's coming at the end of this episode, so please stay tuned for that. After the plant sale, we had a few chilly nights, so I kept the rest of the plants indoors for a few more days, but soon enough, they were all outside getting acclimated. When it was time to start potting, I uncovered the huge pile of potting soil taking up a good portion of our driveway. It certainly makes sense that there would be seeds inside a pile of used soil. It also makes sense that seeds close to the surface of the pile would sprout. The only thing that surprised me was the distance these sprouts would travel in a valiant yet unsuccessful attempt to find light. So I filled a wheelbarrow with soil and it was finally time to pot up the first plant of the season. If you follow this channel, you've seen me do this many times before. To each pot, I'll add a couple of cups of Fischner Organic Fish Manure Humus Compost. I'll also add a tablespoon of Epsom salt to supply magnesium. Now, I'm not really sure if this small amount really does anything useful, but it's been part of my ritual for quite a few years. Same thing with a tablespoon of blood meal I add to each pot. Although blood meal is a good source of nitrogen, the main reason I add it is because rabbits have not bothered my pepper plants ever since I started using it. Whether the blood meal is truly responsible or not, it's a strong motivation to keep using it. The first pepper planted was this beautiful matapinho. 
a really unique jalapeno variant discovered and nurtured through multiple generations by Matt Ollendorf from mattspeppers.com. The plants have white or white and green variegated leaves and pods. The Mattapeno is so popular that it even has its own Facebook group. Matt and others are crossing it with other varieties to create even wilder variations. I hope to grow some of those variations next season. Every year, I line up these ceramic pots on the stone shelf at the head of our in-ground beds after filling them with some of the showiest varieties of the season. These pots are pretty heavy and substantially heavier filled with soil. I'm under strict orders to take it easy on the lifting for a while. So this year, I first placed the pots on the shelf, then brought the soil and plants to the pots. It meant I could do this without asking for help, and I could even sit in a lawn chair while doing it. This row features Vampire, Reaper Spogliato, Venezuelan Purple Variegated, Mutant Candlelight, Capsicum Rhomboidium, another Matapeno, and Blue Christmas. The lawn needs a good mowing, but you should have seen it a couple of days ago. We decided to participate in No Mow May, where you don't mow your lawn during the month of May in order to maintain habitat and forage for early season pollinators. I finally caved on May the 30th and cut it back. It was way too tall for our push mower, so I had to cut the entire yard with my electric hand shears. Then I took a well-deserved nap. I also needed a rest after my labors yesterday, planting 41 plants in these ground beds. I've got a long way to go, but getting this task completed gave me a good feeling of accomplishment. I'm taking a little break to shoot and edit this video, then I'll be back at it. I'll be doing fewer pots than last year, but probably still at least 150 or so. Watch for more updates over the course of the season. Visit the 7 Pot Club Amazon page to find many of my favorite gardening products. I earn from qualifying purchases, so thanks for supporting this channel. Now, more footage from and tunage about the plant sale. If you enjoy our content and would like to see more, you can help us grow by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and tapping the bell to be notified when we post new episodes. Check out all our merch at 7pot.club slash merch. If you'd like a free 7pot Club membership card and stickers, get the details at 7pot.club slash card. And for even more 7pot Club, Follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For 7 Pot Club, I'm Rob.